Hello, my little bats, and welcome to another episode of the Lore Helix PvP stuff that I do with Battleborn. So, we have four Battleborns are done. And now we're on to another one. We are on to the Generate Wrath. He is a Generate Attacker. He's pretty easy to use, very agile, and he's considered an assassin. So, let's do like we normally do and hop into the appearance. So, Wrath is normally red. He doesn't look that bad. He's also voiced by the same person as Vegeta. Fun fact. Um, and his original taunt is Art of Combat. And I forget what, which lore you have to do, but then you unlock the taunt Keeper of the Blade. And then when you hit level 15, you'll get, I'll just leave this here. Mic drop. And I got this one from a um, from a gearbox, so I love this one though. <laughs> All right, so his blue is his. He is literally a vampire uh, samurai. That is how they, you know, I don't know. That's how they. I want to say marketed him. I don't know. But anyways, his blue skin is Bushido. Uh, all right, his sword's like purplish. Uh, his yellow skin is Honor and Glory. And then from there we go to Art of Combat, which is his pink. His pink's alright, I have no problem with his pink. His yellow's whatever. And then there's his green, which is Thrill, thrill of Battle. I kind of actually like this one a bit. And then there's Still Not a Vampire, which is his master skin. He does have skins that you can go ahead and you can buy, which is his alternate history. I kind of actually really like this one. It's another one that I'm thinking about getting. Gold, cold, and old, which is his golden skin. Just desserts. This one's awesome. His freaking swords are ice cream. Possibly a vampire. <laughs> and then his, uh... Thank you for the fight. Yeah, that's his viable taunt, is he balances fight. his sword on his hand. Alright, information! His passive skill is Genetic Siphon. When Wrath damages an enemy's health, he steals health worth 8% of the damage from melee attacks and 10% of the damage from skills. Yeah. Weapon, Axiom, and Praxis. Wrath's primary melee attack can be changed multiple times for a quick combo, while his secondary sword, sweeps, uh, secondary sword sweep deals an area of effect damage. His talent is Blade Keeper's Vestment. Wrath's ceremonial, ceremonial generate armor is sturdy enough to absorb plenty of damage, but light enough to preserve his speed and mobility. His skill one, which is the LB, is Crossblade. It throws an energy blade forward a limited distance, dealing 200 damage. Skill two, which is RB, is Catalytic Smash. It unleashes a shockwave extending directly ahead of Wrath, dealing 133 damage and knocking targets into the air. Which helps out a lot. If you watched my marquee one, you would have seen that happen to me a few times. Dreadwind, after a brief windup, initiates a whirlwind attack lasting 4 seconds, dealing 83 damage per hit to enemies in range. Honestly, the way th the, if you've ever played Wrath or you've played against Wrath, if you get stuck in that ultimate of his, you're pretty much dead. That's just the end of it. <laughs> so his Helix. Uh, level 1, you have Slowing Strike, Concussive Smash, or Waveform. So Slowing Strike is Crossblade slows enemies on impact. You get a plus 3 seconds slow duration. Uh, concuss whatever is smash. Uh, catalytic smash, smash no longer produces a shockwave that knocks enemies into the air, but stuns enemies on impact as if they have recently been hit by crossblade. Waveform smash, catalytic smash, shockwave is short in, but spreads out to left and right. So you get a wider range, but doesn't go as far. I usually always go with slowing strike on this one. Uh, shield siphon, when crossblades... Dam when crossblade damages an enemy shield, Wrath's shield recharges by the amount of damage dealt, plus 100% shield restored on hit. Uh, a Viscerating Blade, a portion of damage dealt by crossblade, bypasses enemy shield to get a plus 60% shield penetration. Anger's Echo, when a crossblade is destroyed, a new crossblade will spawn, moving towards Wrath, dealing half damage to enemies. 
I after I got the mutation, I used uh the eviscerating blade, but before that, I used to do the shield siphon. Just to you know, keep keep your shield there. Uh, terror from above allows Wrath to double jump, or spin to win. Wrath's primary melee combo combos finishing spin fires twice at the end of the combo. I go to spin to win. I mean, double jump's good if you're trying to do story missions, but if you're doing a PvP, you want to do spin to win, or at least I think so. <coughs> Crimson fastness. When Wrath's attacks with catalytic smash, he will leap forward before he smashes. Or, catalytic flash, catalytic smash silences enemies on impact. You always want to go for the silence. It makes sure that they can't attack you with any skills. They can't try to use a skill to get away. None of that bullshit. I needed a drink. Genetic siphon steals health. Steals, sorry, steals additional health when a skill deals damage to an enemy. So you get plus 20% life steal with skills. Swordsman Solve uh, greatly increases Genetic Siphon's life stealing properties for Wrath's melee attacks, but removes the effect from his skills. And then Not a Vampire. Genetic Siphon steals additional health when attacking aim enemies with melee strike, plus 11% life steal. I usually go with the skills because if you're level 5, you're going to be using his ult a lot, so get that life steal with the ult. Uh, Alright, Brutal Blade increases Crossblade's base damage, or. Catastrophic Smash doubles the shock wavelength of Catalytic Smash. This one you can kind of go either or. It depends if you hit with Crossblade a lot, I'd say go with the damage. Or if you're just stunning everybody, go with that um the Catastrophic Smash. Next, Evasive Maneuvers. When Wrath's shield is broken, movement speed is increased for a short time. You get plus 30% movement speed for 6 seconds. Uh, spin to slow. Wrath's primary melee combo finishing spin... Fin uh, melee combo finishing spins slows enemies. Or, to the point, increase the base of all melee strikes. Uh, this one, I mean, if you have the if you have the the, uh, the mutation, I would say go with spin to slow. Because it slows them, they can't get away, you're doing a lot of damage, no big deal. Uh, evasive maneuvers, if you don't have it, I'd say go for that because if you're you know, if you do get to a point where you do need to run away because your health is very low, there you go. You have your movement speed up once your shield gets broken. Uh, doubles the uh, sorry energetic projection. It doubles the effective range of crossblade or quick cross. Reduces crossblade's cooldown. I like to reduce the cooldown just because I don't like I don't use it that often. But I I don't hmm. I'd rather reduce the cooldown so I have more chances to try to hit with it. That's what I was trying to say. Can't talk today. Soften target. Enemies hit by catalytic smash will take more damage from crossblade for a short time. Zealous smash. Killing an enemy with catalytic slash reduces dreadwind's cooldown. I've never killed an enemy with catalytic smash. That's why I don't use that one. I usually use soften target. It's better. Alright. And lastly, dreadheart. Grants a movement speed boost while to wrath while dreadwind is active. You get a plus 30% movement speed. Unstoppable Assault, Dreadwind generates an overshield upon activation. You get a plus 225 overshield for 4 seconds. Or, Desperate Assault, damage dealt by Dreadwind is increased while Wrath's shield is broken. Um, originally I would do the movement speed because you are literally up in their face when you're using Dreadwind. So you're taking, you can take a lot of damage. So, ugh, sorry. So, it, I like the movement speed because once you finish with, um... What, what, uh, la, 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 sorry. I like it because you can get up to their faces quicker. So say say you're fighting an Arendi, you use Dread when you kill Arendi, but there's a Reyna shooting at you. You can quickly get over to that Reyna before Dreadwind, uh, you know, times out. And it, either kill her or get a crap done of damage onto her. But since I've gotten the mutation, I usually use the overshield. I get the overshield one. I, I just, I like it better, man. Don't judge me! Lore! Sustained across time. Deal 10,000 melee damage in a single match or mission five times. You're literally a melee character. That has to be like the easiest thing to do. So sustained across time. <clears throat> Since the last time we spoke, 
I have made a few noteworthy discoveries as to the generate sustained from my observations of the generate keeper known as Varad Wrath. First, as is easily observable, the sustained do not seem to age naturally. During the time in which I have tracked Varad Wrath, I have intercepted communication between Wrath and the other keepers. These messages confirm that Wrath is well over 1400 years of age. Moreover, I have confirmed through general imperial records that several of the keepers have aged beyond 18,000 years, though they appear to have not aged a day since they were sustained. Second, the sustained are preternaturally fast healer healers. I don't know how to fucking say that word. Uh, <laughs> Something about their physical substructure allows them to heal by drawing energy from surrounding living organisms. I witnessed Varad Wrath do this on numerous occasions while battling other biological beings. Third, Varad Wrath is exceptionally hard to kill. Though my active observation, I now know him to be nearly impervious to most small arms fire. Resistance to many poisons and toxins, at all but incombustible, and is seemingly inhuman to asphyxiation. I will not describe here the incidents required to gain this knowledge, but safe to say, my information is personal, accurate, and observed. Conclusion. If War Master Rendane were to utilize sustained troops in the coming war, our attack of, gen of the Generate Empire would be, a severe would be at a severe disadvantage. Sorry. Give my best to the Arbiters of Being. They have, battle they have hard battles ahead. Render the Snake Headless. This one is deal 2,000 damage to Rendane with Catalytic Smash. The easiest way to do this, honestly. Um, I went in with a group of five people to uh, to the Heliophage. And they all kind of just backed off. So I could do the... They just did not attack Rendane and I just kept using Catalytic Smash on Rendane. Until it said that I finished the lore. And then I was like, alright, let's kill him. Let's listen to this. Wrath. Dandy, it's not your shift yet. Yes, well, I'm not used to resting without the specter of impending death hanging over me. I need some time to adjust to, you know, hope. May I join you? <laughs> I suppose. Thank you. <sighs> not everything you hoped it could be, eh? Mm -hmm. In the days before our assault on Tempest, slaying Rindane was all you could think about. Now you're hardly sleeping. Quests for vengeance are loathsome burdens, aren't they? I'm fine. I have no doubt that you are. But you have to come up with some kind of plan, Rath. What plan? For your future. <laughs> Not used to thinking about it. None of us are. Hell, Cleese is scrambling because he didn't bother renewing our LLC emergency transport contract. He figured we'd all be dead. <laughs> How optimistic of him. <sighs> I've bested Rindane, dear. Tyrant of our age. He's rotting in infinite, unbearable banishment, and yet all I can think of is his wretched face. I think of nothing else. I appear to be broken, Deandy. I don't know how to live in this new world you've created. I'd be concerned if you were sleeping well, but what comes next is up to us. In the meantime, I recommend a hobby, Rath, to get your mind off things. Something related to swords and fighting. Hmm. I do like both of those things. Doctor's orders. Don't worry. We'll still have plenty of problems to solve. Rindane was only the first. You'll always have a place among us, Rath. Ah, how sweet. Alright. Next one is Axiom Praxis and Precept. Hit enemies hit three enemies with crossblade a hundred times. You do not know how annoying this was. I actually had to go to the algorithm. And and a part of the algorithm, you have these um these little like bug things that they spawn little tiny bugs. And I think one of them counts for like half an enemy. You have to hit six of them with crossblade. I think it took me an hour of doing that straight to freaking get that goddamn lore. It was ridiculous. But pretty much this is all about his swords. So these swords wielded by generic keeper of the blades of Farad Wrath. All were personally forged by Wrath, who, as Keeper of the Blade, is both a skilled scientist and an artisan, artisan craftsman. Axiom and Praxis. Twin Phasic Energy Cantana, standard weaponry for the Keeper of the Blade. For Keepers of the Blade, the Phasic Edges have variable edge breadth, 
breathed. I don't know. And are powerful with energies capable of subatomic levels of sharpness. Slicing of atoms with blades is inadvisable. Praxis is also capable of a limited anti-grav, allowing it to be thrown a short distance and it and recall to the user's grasp. Precept. Precept was forged from Rendane's personal blade. Blended with alloys from blades taken from fallen keepers of the blades, hunted and killed by wrath for their betrayal of the Empress. Turned tuned to Axiom and Praxis, this two-handed blade draws in and amplifies kinetic energy from the motion of the other two swords. The, that stored energy can be redirected as powerful strikes used to render foes immobile in battle. Alright, and then we have Thank You Letter from Calderas, which you have to complete three matches while on the same team as Calderas. Thank You Message sent from Wrath... Sent to Wrath from Calderas after their escape from Tempest following the Second Thrall Uprising, Wrath forged a phasic blade specially adapted to fit Calderas' shock armor using metal from the alloyed walls of Calderas' prison cell. Verod, the blade is sufficient. Calderas, the Chamesian. Very straightforward. Betrayal, betrayer. Kill 500 generate. The story of... <clears throat> sorry. The story of the Keeper Wrath is but another dark mark upon our glorious empire. Wrath has be become a force of retribution, a vengeance born in wrath, birthed from Rendane's betrayal. As you are well aware, my Empress, Virad Wrath, has long record as a dedicated guardian, not only as your personal guard for over 1400 years, Codex Standing, Standard Reckoning, but also crafting the phasic blades used by the other keepers of the blade in your service. Still, even Wrath was susceptible to the tyrant's deception. You witnessed with your own eyes the fruits of Rundane's lies. The keepers were twisted against you by Rundane's scheme, Wrath included. And, in doing so, made it possible for Rundane to complete his betrayal and retain many loyal followers within the inner circle, despite the civil war within the former empire. Wrath believed this fiction painted by Rendane for nearly three years until I confronted him directly. After presenting to him the incontrovertible incontrover truth of Rendane's lies, Wrath was upset. He found Rendane and demanded answers. When the Lord Commander rebuffed Wrath's demand, the Keeper snapped, drew Rendane's own dagger, and plunged it deep within the tyrant's abdomen. This did not kill Rendane, as I'm sure you are aware. Sustainment, at times, has its inconvenience, knowing that Rendane would not die from this rune. Wrath withdrew the dagger and fled. Over the last several months, as civil war continued between the Empress Loyal Empire and Rendane's militaristic Imperium, Wrath has been seeking vengeance, hunting and kill killing the other 20 keepers who remained in Rendane's service. From Rendane's dagger, and from the blade of the defeated keepers, Wrath has forged a new style of sword that he has named Precept. I believe, my Empress, that Wrath is still loyal to the General Empire and will be a great ally in the coming war to unseat Rendane from power. Wrath got all sorts of fucked up, but he's still a badass character. But uh, let's go ahead and hop into a match with Wrath.